Well, I was saying yesterday uh, when we were asking about his defensive chances that his first priority is special teams. He's got to get punt return, kick return set, and he's not that worried about the defense. You've got to be excited to hear that. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing we talked about, and obviously we understand that guys want to play more offensively and defensively. Uh, but they can't, you know, forget where they came from. And uh, we had a nice little talk with Ola. He understands that stuff. But we're excited for him to get that opportunity. Um, but, uh, you know, we still hope that he can play at a high level on special teams. With the rushing attack, they say there's, there's a crease. Like, they'll see it, it's close, and they'll keep going at it. For you, on the return game, are, are you guys getting close? It's been a while since you had a return. Are you guys getting close? Yeah, you know what? That's one thing that we're going to continue to work on more and more this week because we've got to do a much better job on our kickoff return, uh, whether it's coaching, whether it's executing. Um, you know, punt return, yeah, we feel like we're getting close to hitting a crease. Kickoff return, we still have a ways to go, and that's why we're going to have a, a big-time focus this week on getting that straight uh, so we can get field position for our offense. Spawn the way he did, you know, just with the team seven days by Sunday and, and for him to come in there, um, you know, play well, hit the game-winning field goal for you guys, just ha- kind of how, how cool was that for him? It was awesome. Uh, very proud of him for coming in here and being a professional, uh, you know, taking coaching and uh, him going out there and us having the confidence in him, making that field goal and him having the confidence in him himself. It was just great, you know, seeing that smile on his face after he makes that game-winning kick. Just just really happy for the guy because, you know, he's been through a lot, whether it's through Houston, Cincinnati, Detroit. Now he gets to us. Uh, just, just really excited for him. You guys have been through so much in terms of field goal kicking situation. Yeah. When he makes a game winner like that, does it kind of give a little confidence to the whole unit to kind of maybe stabilize things a bit? Well, yeah, I think it gives the confidence in the whole team, you know, that we have someone who can go out there and make kicks. Uh, and, you know, he's going to build that confidence through practice. And then, obviously, when he goes out there and executes it during a game, uh, that's going to give the confidence to the unit and our whole team. So we're going to continue to work on that. Hopefully, Randy feels really confident in himself, which I think he does. And, you know, hopefully he can continue to build on what he did last week. Seattle seemed clearly eager for you guys to return kickoffs. Yeah. Is, is that a motivational thing for your guys saying, oh. hey, they don't think we're getting to the 25? For sure. I mean, that's what we showed all week. Um, and we brought up some stats for the guys and just understand that we obviously need to be better at that uh, particular unit and I got to coach it better. Uh, but it's going to, we're going to have a little bit of incentive because people are just going to hang the ball up there and say, hey, we're going to dare you to return it. So we got to do a much better job of executing and coaching and hopefully we'll get back on track this week. Pete didn't uh, didn't try to ice them, and you know sometimes coaches do that. What, what do you tell your guys as far as how to handle that situation and, uh, and dealing with that? Yeah, so you know we have a few things, Jim, that we like doing um, to it that I'm going to kind of keep to myself a little bit, but. Uh, You know, we want Randy to go out there and have confidence in whatever he's going to do and whether he's going to get iced through a timeout uh, or they're just going to let him kick. You know, we want him to have the same routine that he goes over and over again, whether it's kicking a 31-yard field goal at an extra point or a 53-yarder. We want him to have the same routine. So whether he gets iced or not, and I know there's different types of stats of whether people are going to ice or not, or they're just going to have him kick. We just want him to have the same routine. How does that whole process work from like pregame all the way to the point where you're letting the OC know, okay, Randy wants it on this hash or this yeah. side? How does that work? So it begins during during the week. Um, you know, Coach Vrabel will ask myself, like, hey, where does Randy like it? And Randy is confident in himself. He doesn't matter to him. Right, left hash, middle, it doesn't matter. But then when you go over and then you're playing in Seattle where there's a bunch of wind, it could go left to right, right to left, in your face, behind your back. Uh, We always communicate during second quarter and even the fourth quarter where I will go to Braves, Todd, hey, listen, this is where he wants. He wants on the left hash this week. Or now because the wind's going a certain way, he's got to have it on that certain hash. So we communicate throughout the course of the game with Coach Rabel and Todd about that. Is this kind of like an uh, extended audition for Randy or to Sam, you know, when Sam is healthy, is the job Sam's again? 
Well, I think we're just going to go day, day by day with it. You know, I'm not promising anybody anything. You know, Sam did have a good training camp, did have a good preseason. Randy came in here and, and did a good job for us. So I think we'll take that day by day once Sam is ready to get back at it. For the Colts, what, what are some of the things that they do well that, that maybe makes you the most concerned going in? Yeah, I mean, just taking a look from what they do last year and even this year, uh, obviously, you know, they blocked a punt on us last season. So we've got to be prepared to handle them on multiple fronts, uh, a lot of twist games, certain things like that, because they're going to come after the punter. So we got to be able to do a great job of protecting Brett and let Brett punt the ball and, and hopefully flip the field. So we've got to be prepared for that. But they got a great group of core players that we got to handle those guys. And then the returners are dangerous too. You know, Hines obviously is a really good running back. Uh, when he has the hands or the ball in his hands, he's dangerous. And even Rodgers is a really good kickoff returner. So they got a great core group. Uh, I think Bubba Ventrone does a really good job. And I've known Frank and uh, Wright for a while. And uh, I know you know, he really puts an emphasis on special teams, too. Chester, having been with the Colts in the past, you know, he's probably familiar with some of their special teams concepts and things like that. Is there any competitive advantage to that whatsoever? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we'll obviously talk to him about certain things, which we already have. But, uh, you know, every season's different. You know, every game is different. So, you know, the thing that we end up talking to him more about and guys who come from different fight is how's their personnel? Like, what are they like? You know, what do they like to do in certain things? So those are the things that we'll end up doing. But every game's going to be different. So uh, we'll see how it ends up. You, you have guys that show up here that have never played special teams before. And what's that process like for them as they – how long does it really take them to get comfortable doing it? Well, I think the biggest thing is is we have to sit down and talk with them early on. Uh, when a guy's never played special teams and he's been the best player on their team offensively or defensively, we have to have a, a nice little sit down and talk to them about you know, what your role is going to be. And once we end up setting that role for them, that's going to help them out. So it'll start in the offseason training camp. And once they continue to get more reps at it and we continue to talk to them about their role, uh, I think that ends up helping out. Now, some guys get it really early. Some guys get it a little bit later. So it's all individually based, and hopefully they can get it quicker uh, than not.